guys, welcome back to my channel, Health Lair. What I want to do today is focus a little on sleep. On my blog, I posted something about sleep that talks a little bit about the symptoms, what exactly is sleep deprivation, and uh, I also mentioned a few diseases that you can get higher risk of getting if you're not getting your adequate sleep. So I'm going to be listing uh, the different kinds of medical conditions that you're at risk of getting if you're sleep deprived. Now this doesn't mean sleep deficient, okay? Because when you're sleep deficient, you kind of don't sleep for a few hours a night and then you sleep the perfect amount the next day. But as you have sleep deficiency longer and longer and longer time, you become sleep deprived. And this is crucial to your health. You have no idea how important sleep is and it's important that everyone gets their beauty sleep. Not only because your facial appearance changes, but also because of the following diseases. Diabetes, obesity, heart disease, neurological disease, and it also affects your muscle. It affects the way you repair muscle, it affects the way you build muscle, and it can also cause your muscle to become degraded. So now what I'm gonna do is go specifically into each section and tell you exactly why these things can happen. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is why are you at higher risk of getting diabetes if you're sleep deprived? As we know, your body is controlled by hormones, and sugar is controlled by hormones. Uh, the way you can decrease the amount of sugar in your body is by one specific hormone called insulin. Insulin is made by the pancreas, which is a small organ inside your belly. Um, and insulin is important because it allows your body to absorb the sugar from your blood. What happens if you're not absorbing the sugar from your blood? Well, that's called diabetes. If you have too much sugar inside of your blood, then it can affect your nerves, it can affect your eyes, it can affect your heart, your arteries. It basically affects everything in your body. It's not that insulin is affected by sleep, it's that your body's response to insulin is affected by sleep, okay? When you're sleep deprived, your body does not respond adequately to insulin. It's not that it has low insulin production, it's that your body is insulin resistant. And this is a very common type of diabetes. This is type two diabetes, which means that you're insulin resistant diabetic. It means your body is still making insulin, but your cells are not reacting. So the sugar stays in your blood and doesn't get sucked into your cells. Okay, the second thing I'm gonna talk about, which kind of goes hand in hand with diabetes, is obesity. Why are you at higher risk of becoming obese if you're sleep deprived? I'll tell you why. You have two hormones that usually work together in unison to regulate how you, how you eat. So this means if you're hungry, that's one hormone. If you feel full, that's a different hormone. The way I remember it is leptin keeps you lean because it makes you feel full and ghrelin makes you go crazy for food. So make you, you eat everything. And so these hormones are very important to stay balanced. What happens when you're sleep deprived is that your ghrelin hormone shoots up and your leptin shoots down. So what does this mean? It means you wanna eat more, you feel more hungry, and no matter how much you eat, you never feel full. So this is a terrible combination if you wanna stay lean. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is cardiovascular disease. How can your sleep possibly affect your heart? I'll tell you why. A study was conducted, and what they wanted to know is what would happen to the blood pressure of a person if they got less than their adequate amount of sleep, meaning, not much, they slept three hours less than they were supposed to. So instead of sleeping eight hours a day, they were sleeping five. Even that three hour of deprivation for one night, the following day, the people in the study had higher blood pressures. So why is your blood pressure important? Everyone is always talking about your blood pressure. Blood pressure is important because it keeps your arteries healthy. Have any of you ever played an instrument, for example, a guitar? The more you use your fingers to play on the strings, you start developing calluses on your fingers. This is to protect your skin from the pressure that you're putting on it. Your arteries do the same thing. The harder the blood is hitting your arteries, the more your arteries start to develop plaques and stiffness to protect itself from the high pressures. This is why keeping your blood pressure at a normal level is so important, okay? And this is, for example, if you have diabetes and you have obesity, and you're also sleep deprived, this gives you a huge accumulation of risk for your heart. And the one thing you wanna do is always keep your heart healthy. The next thing I wanna talk about, neurological effects. What does this mean? Neuro means brain. So sleep deprivation affects your brain. How does it possibly affect your brain? Well, aside from some of the symptoms of sleep deprivation that I spoke about on the blog, such as moodiness or fatigue, irritability, which is different between adults and children, which I also spoke about in the blog post. Um, children kind of has the 
opposite effect. They become hyperactive, inattentive, they can't focus. Um, and I'll speak about this towards the end of the video a little bit more. Uh, so neurological effects, why are these so important? Well, a study was conducted and it turns out that a lot of car accidents the severity of injuries and the amount of car accidents are very close to the amount caused by alcohol abuse. So when your body is deprived of sleep, you don't react the same. It's almost like your body's drunk. So if you're driving and you're sleep deprived, you're not only a danger to yourself, but you're also a danger to everyone else that's around you. You're not as alert. You can't react the same. A lot of people say don't drink and drive. But what I say is sleep deprived, shoot and drive. Hey guys, so there's still three things I want to talk about, but I've already given you a lot of things to think about. So I decided to split the sleep video into two parts. Part two will discuss muscle degradation, beauty sleep, and the link between sleeping patterns and ADD or ADHD. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when part two is uploaded. See you guys next week and thanks for watching.